power an eight million dollar tank. Talk to me about the eight million dollar tank. It's called the T-14 or the Armada T-14. It's going to be the main battle tank in the Russian military. It will replace the T-90. This thing, just as a sort of product of engineering prowess, is worth paying attention to. They rolled it out for the first time officially on Saturday. There it is going across Red Square. Look, uh, this is hugely important to the Russian military. It's their first tank in 40 years. It's hugely important to the idea of exports. You know, the T-90, for example, is made right now in India under license. But it's also sort of a face-saving day, Saturday was, because they brought the same tank out earlier in the week, and one of them stalled right in front of <laughs> Lenin's mausoleum. And you see the poor soldier sitting at the tank, you know, he kind of raised a little red flag, help, help. And he stood there. The engine kept running, but the tank wouldn't go. Um, and about half an hour later, somehow miraculously, after trying to tow it unsuccessfully, it, it sort of found its way and started off again. But it was a big sort of, you know, worrisome moment for the Russians. But this tank, you know, which is sort of supposed to be a rival to the Abrams, uh, the U.S. tank, is unique in the sense that it has a turret that is uh, self, you know, is, is remote controlled. So the, so the actual turret operator can sit in a different part of the tank in an armored section and control it from there. And the idea is, and this is where it gets exciting, exciting 10, 15 years down the line, you could have robotic tanks. And in other words, you know, you're sitting in your living room, just like you have with drones now, yeah. and you're operating the tank. So maybe this will lead to that. But the jury's still out on this tank, right? We haven't seen it enough. It stalled earlier in the week. Um, it made it through Saturday. But when it actually, you know, starts shooting and we get live fire exercises with it, then we'll know more about it.